cold outside But the fire keeps us warm We can spend the night Underneath the mistletoe And I've gotten you a present That I put under the tree Tomorrow it is Christmas The first for you and me Good morning you're probably thinking, what on earth is on my head? Well, I've pin curled my hair and I put this nice, like, I don't think it's real silk. Just let me just put that. I don't think it's real silk, but um, it feels really soft. So I just put this on my head to like protect my hair and keep the pin curls in. I've also got a face mask on that needs to come off. It's, the, it's a plumping one, like a, yeah, so that needs to come off as well. But how are you? Happy Saturday. I hope you're all okay. I am congested, but that is the norm in the morning. I'm always congested in the morning. <sighs> um, I've done my meditation. Uh, I need to read my Bible and do all of that sort of stuff, um, which I will do off camera. You've seen me do that a million times now, and you're probably bored of that, so I'm not going to film that again. Um, and then I've got to go wait George up in a moment because we've got a, our washing machine engineer coming out to look at our washing machine because that um, isn't working at the moment. Um, I hand washed a few items of clothing, like essential clothing, and it just made me feel so grateful that washing machines exist. Because <laughs> hand washing clothes is hard. I had a pair of jeans as well and I really regret washing them. I was like, oh my god, they're so hard. But, but turn every negative into a positive I did it and it was very successful they didn't smell they smelled good I successfully hand washed the clothes I feel like I can tick that off my list now don't want to do it every day though I think I'll pass on that I think it'd be different if I had like in the olden days they had one of those like ringers so you put them clothes through like two barrels and you wring it out that would have been so much easier and then they had one of those, those scrubby things didn't they in the um olden days but i just had my hands and i had to try and wring, wring them out with my hands and that was hard and i went outside and it was cold but anyway i did it so um any house updates not really i'm hoping to get some updates today or ne early next week um, our solicitors website they've had a major cyber breach cyber security breach so all their systems went down completely phone lines everything went down they literally couldn't do anything people were, were meant to be physically moving into their new property and they couldn't they couldn't exchange oh my god I feel for them like I would have been so stressed out if that would have been me like people were sleeping in vans houses have fallen through it's literally been a nightmare so I thank the lord that we have not been in that position and we are just patiently waiting and we he is testing us to practice patience and also i because everyone's like oh you're going to be in before christmas you're going to be in before christmas and there's a few things i want to tie off here before we move um the work situation that's all sorted we've got a lovely new girl where i work and i'm training her but i want her to be as comfortable as possible with what she's doing before I just say yes yeah, see you bye and, and leave and go like my my work have been really really supportive and really great and basically I'm staying with the company but I'm just moving to a different setting so that is fantastic I'm so grateful but I want to make sure she is happy and comfortable with what she's doing before I up and leave because that is just so not fair and I have been in a position at work where I've literally been like okay I don't know what I'm doing I've just winged it which I'm quite good at doing um and I don't want her to be in that position it's not fair it's not fair because it, it was really stressful so yeah I'm not ready we're not ready to move yet we've got a few things to tie off here first um so yeah, but hopefully get some updates from that. But things are starting to progress in the house. I mean, I don't think Arthur's overly happy with us, but he'll be happy when we move. The shelves are now gone. These are our boxes, or some of our boxes. We're going to be getting some more. Um, my friend knows someone who works in a factory with cardboard boxes, and they basically just get rid of boxes that are not perfect. I'm doing air quotes when I say perfect. Um, 
like I don't know if you can see but there's like a little bend in the corner there and they're just apparently that that means they're not they're not right so they go in the they I don't know what they do with them but they're giving them to us so that's really kind and um we've got more coming so that's fantastic but yeah no we got rid of the shelves on Facebook marketplace they went within a day so the shelves are gone I've packed up um I'll just show you in the box boxes down there is the shelving um bits and bobs as you can see I don't know if you can see actually because of don't yeah Arthur has um made his mark on one of his boxes his, this has got all of his stuff in it which is quite funny that that's the box he scratched which is quite hilarious um and then we've got the tub chairs they've gone now so we don't have the tub chairs anymore we had a tub chair over there as well and they have gone now so that's good because they're not coming with us because um yeah they won't fit in the new house not that they won't fit in the new house but Arthur yeah decorated them with his claws so they won't go with the decor <laughs> but yeah um no further updates on the house all i know is that our inquiries have been submitted um or requested i think i don't know how long ago that they were requested so we're literally just waiting for those to come back and then i think it's the contracts i think that's the final stage now um apparently the inquiries take the longest so that's just said just that's fine just do your thing as long as we get updates and we know what's going on then I'm perfectly happy just don't worry about it I know you've they've got other things going on bigger things so I'm just perfectly happy we're happy just to go with the flow really and just whenever we need to do things we do it straight away and get them actioned straight away what else so that's that house that's a house update um today I am going into town with my lovely mummy I'm meeting my bestie and we're going to the cathedral because they've got a Christmas market on. How exciting is that? It's so cute. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and we're we'll probably going to get some lunch and, and go to the cathedral cafe, which is so sweet. It's so nice. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really looking forward to that. It'll be a really lovely day. Um, come home and then I'm going to just relax and do some bullet journaling. I've been so tired this week. But it's last weekend we didn't really rest. We were busy. I mean, I defrosted two freezers. I did vlog last weekend, but it was just, just I deleted all the footage because I think I felt like I was vlog. I was when I was editing it, I was like, no, I've just filmed for the sake of filming, for the sake of a video, and I don't want to do that. I want to film uh, not when I have watch worthy content because I kind of don't agree with that either for me and my channel this is simple living like just day in the life like sometimes life is boring so but that content was just no <laughs> so i got rid of it all but you saw a video last week anyway so let me know what you thought of that because that was a silent vlog so let me know what your thoughts were and if you'd like me to film more videos like that <clears throat> and yeah that's it that's all my updates for you all. I have no more updates. It is currently 6.45. I have to go wake up George because the washing machine engineer is going to be here at half seven and I should really get out of my pyjamas. Which is kind of sad because I love being in my pyjamas and relaxing. But the washing machine's getting fixed so... So I'm going to go put some like uh, relatively sensible attire on. Keep my hair in this because I'm keeping it in here like until I get ready to go out with mum yeah so I'll be back later to show you my outfit show you my hair depending if the washing machine tumble dry man is here still um and then we'll go into town Ugh, love stretching stretching is so good isn't it um but yeah I hope you're all okay I hope you're all well and um i really hope you enjoy the vlog my views are going up now which is so great i just i mean to be honest for me i just love filming my little simple videos because i like making people happy and i like making like videos like to escape to so that's what i really really enjoy so the views you know when it's like oh yeah i've got like more subscribers like that doesn't really bother me if i get views fantastic great and if I get more subscribers, then that's fantastic. That would be great. I'd love that. Um, but I don't do it for those reasons. So I do it because I love filming. I love it. It's great. It's really fun. 
Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking now and go wake up George. Okay, bye. As a young girl, the fields were mine. We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, playful and free, without a care in the world. I was one rich little girl, daydreamer. balancing my hand so here's my hair out of its curls pins <sighs> and my makeup so mum will be here shortly I think it's like 10 to 9 so she's coming to get me at half 9 I think um, I haven't checked my phone to be honest so I need to go do that so I'm gonna that's George is watching TV if you can hear that um, the washing machine um, engineer came out and it needs repairing and it won't be repaired until a week on Monday so it's now Saturday the 20th of um, November and the washing machine is not going to be repaired until the 29th of November but thankfully my mum has offered to wash um, some of our clothes so I will show you what I'm taking over <laughs> I've sent her a picture and said look I'm sorry but I'm washing the bedding as well because it will last then until the washing machine gets repaired so yeah but I'm gonna go get ready so I'll show you my proper outfit of the day in about 5.3 seconds so everyone here is my outfit of the day oh no I dropped my bag that was not professional at all this bag is from I think H&M a couple of years ago I think I don't actually remember where I got it from it's old so that is my bag it's just a normal one pocket bag um, and then this coat is amazing this is a charity shop coat and I don't know the, oh, well, the make of it I mean look at this lining look how nice that lining is can you see that it's so nice it says it's a company called Mex and I don't I've never heard of them before but it's such a gorgeous coat, it's pink. I hope the, the lighting is bringing it up. It's not very good lighting here, but it's so gorgeous. And that was only five pounds for this coat. So that is the coat. And then my top is just a, I think it's the sustainable range in Primark. And I do that because are they actually sustainable? I don't know, but that's that. And this was, I got this a little while ago. So I've just tucked it into my jeans. And my jeans, I think, are from Dorothy Perkins a few years ago. And my boots are next, I believe. And they're a few years old as well. They've got a little tassel on the side there. So basically, my entire outfit, from my handbag to my shoes, is either... Well, it's all old. Nothing I'm wearing is new. And it's either charity shop or... Yeah, we're old. So this is my outfit for the day.
everyone. <sighs> it has been an amazing day. I also forgot to um, bring out my camera. <laughs> So, um, the footage that you will have seen um, was taken on my, my phone, so if the quality is not the best, that's why. I do apologise. Oh, I'm just getting into some comfortable clothes. George is doing some dinner, which is so great. You'll have also just seen that I have prepped some of the Thanksgiving veg, so that's exciting. I'm just brushing my hair. I'm going to wash it tomorrow. Hmm. I might wash it and curl it, or I might wash it and put it in pins again. I haven't fully decided, I don't know. All I know is that my hair is done. All I know. I am tired and still got bedding to put on the bed because my um, lovely stepdad washed a load of our clothes for us because as you know the washing machine is uh, broken and it's not being repaired until a week on Monday so that's fun that's fun but um, but my stepdad washed a load of our clothes for us so really 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 super super grateful for that oh i cannot wait to take this makeup off i cannot wait it's coming off in 5.3 seconds okay look how nice my hair is how those pins like i just love it how it does that but it's going up it's going up it's going up oh that sorted for a moment. Just get a couple of cotton pads to remove my makeup. But I've had a lovely, lovely day with mum. It was so nice. So, so nice. And then we came back and I made my lemon, ginger and honey tonic and then poured it down the sink by accident. And then I've just been prepping for Thanksgiving and then I've had Arthur on my knee for like the last half an hour and it's been so relaxing. So yeah, um, I haven't really done much else to be honest. Um, so I haven't got really anything to report. Uh, and yeah, um, I need to record my Christmas piece. I'm going to have to do that tomorrow now. Oh my gosh. Tomorrow we're going to get up early, I may even have a bath this evening and wash my hair this evening, I'll put the hot water on and probably run a bath this evening because I need to film the Christmas concert, I need to film it so we're going to do that, we're going to do it tomorrow, it needs to be filmed, so yeah. I'm going to go now then and put this footage on my laptop and oh, George is calling me, hold on, he's so cute, he has my dinner, so so cute. So I'm just going to take this makeup off roughly, go and eat my tea, watch, watch the rest of Batman, then come and get a bath. I'm going to go home. Okay, I'll uh, probably see you tomorrow for a little bit and then show you the food and then I may be back. I may not. I'll keep you updated. But the next thing you're probably going to see is my bath. Good morning, everyone. It's Sunday and today um, George and I are hosting and doing our very first 
Thanksgiving. I'm so excited. It's going to be so nice. Um, we've kind of prepped some of the food. <clears throat> so that's cool. So we don't have a great deal to do today, which is really good. Um, and yeah, I know Thanksgiving is officially on Thursday, but we're doing it a week or a few days earlier because we can't do it next weekend because it's my lovely Nana's birthday and I'm preparing for when I see her on Monday. So yeah. Um, I'm just about to do my bullet journal, but this morning I'm going to the bre for breakfast. I'm going to start it off with the traditional American breakfast. I don't think this is traditional. I don't know if it's traditional, but I'm gonna have pancakes. <laughs> um, but I don't want to make too much batter, so I need to like half all the batter because um, yeah, I just want like one batch. So I'm going to do that. My hair is down at the moment. It's not usually down in the morning. I usually have it like scraped back up, don't I? Like. But we're down. Anyway, I just wanted to show you a couple of the things, special things I got from the Christmas market at the cathedral. I got, so every year my auntie and I buy special baubles, like really special. We've got three from when we went to London. So we've got one from Liberties, one from the Royal Opera House and another from somewhere else that I can't remember. Um, and then I got some other special baubles from garden centers and things like that, but like really ones that really stand out. Anyway, when we were at the Christmas market, they were doing these glass baubles and they're beautiful. So I bought three. I shouldn't have done. It was not on my shopping list, but anyway, that's that. I've got one for me, one for my grandmother, which I'm going to give her as her birthday present because it's like really special. And then I'm going to give one to my aunt as well. So I'm going to show you them. So this is the first one. Are you ready? Look how pretty that is. It's like a little house and it's glass as well, all hand painted. It's so pretty. I love that. So that's the first one. Then we have this one. These two are the same designs. But we have this one. Like a frosty, a frosty scene. That's really cute, isn't it? I love that. And then the last one is the same. I think it's the same pattern. Yeah, I'm sure it is, but it's in blue. So this is the that one. So what I'm thinking of doing is giving my aunt this one and then giving, oh no, giving my grandmother that one because then it's the same, then we've kind of got like the same pattern one. I'm going to keep the pink one because I just think that's really pretty and unusual. I just love it. And then I'll give my grandmother the, uh, my aunt the house one because she will love that. So they are the special baubles that I bought and shouldn't have bought so I didn't need I didn't need baubles but they're beautiful. So yeah, I'm just gonna pack them away, do some bullet journaling and relax and then we'll make some pancakes together. Pancakes.
about to do my hair and makeup and sort that out for the day. I'm going to curl my hair today. <clears throat> and what else? Um, yeah, I'm going to curl my hair. Sorry, I was just like what, reading something. I'm going to curl my hair, do my makeup, and then I'm actually filming our Christmas concert video that I'm playing in the piano so I've got to film that and yeah then start cooking we've put something in already so now it's just get everything else ready for Thanksgiving it's going to be a really great but I will be back with you once I'm all dressed no pajamas ready to start the day. Hello everyone. Literally looks like I'm wearing exactly the same as we all did yesterday, which I kind of am. I've just got multiple tops of the, this. This black top, I've got like four of them because I wear a few, I wear the same thing to work, so. Just brushing my hair ah, I'm getting ready for bed I am exhausted <laughs> but Thanksgiving dinner with my father-in-law and his partner look how lovely my, that girl is look. Um, yeah Thanksgiving for with my father-in-law and his partner was literally so nice. I'm really sorry that I didn't film any of it or film the food. I've got a picture of all the food which I will insert now. And oh, it was literally amazing. Just, they bought food as well. There was so much food. We have leftovers that were gonna last for the whole week. Which reminds me, I need to cook up some chicken and then freeze it because, um, yeah, I need to do that because I, I ordered chicken in our food delivery and I, I'm not going to need to eat it because we have so much food from Thanksgiving. So that's always good. I did wonder whether I needed to order food extra food or not to be honest for the week because we've got so much left over but that's that um i really really hope that you have enjoyed this little weekend of vlog i'm just taking my makeup off now um yeah i really hope you have enjoyed it and it's been fun for you it's been really really good it's been another like whirlwind vlog next weekend i'm at home george has got his photo shoot with the gym and i'm staying at home with arthi so i'm gonna have a really really pampering relaxing restful weekend because i can't have another jam-packed weekend it's just it's too it's just too much i'm too exhausted but I feel pretty good. We we had a really good system for Thanksgiving. Um, it was our system was great. We washed up as we went, so we didn't have any washing up to do when our guests left, which was great. Like I would wash up after dinner, and then George washed up after dessert. So that was really good. But I'm thinking of putting on a face mask tonight in a minute, and because uh, I've worn makeup like seven days this week i haven't had a normally at the weekend i have like a makeup free day and i haven't this weekend so i think i'm going to do a really clean my face and do a face mask i think and do that so yeah i don't really have much else to catch up with you all on um i just hope you have enjoyed this vlog i'm probably gonna go now and then edit this and put it up for you all to see and yeah I will catch up with you all in next week's video vlog and 
see if we've got any more updates. I'm going to be decorating our Christmas tree. Now, Christmas tree, this was this was a debate in uh, the Hussey household because George is kind of like, let's not get a tree this year. Let's just wait until we've moved into our new home. We'll have a very simple Christmas here. Um, and then we'll have a big celebration next year. Next year in our new home. Because we're not going to be in our new home for Christmas. It's, we're, we're not. It's like, I know you have like, oh, no, you're putting that out into the universe and this. But no, we're, we're physically not going to be in before Christmas. So I don't even want to think about the universe I mean if miracles do happen but it's very unlikely and I'm fine with that I'm absolutely I'm absolutely happy with that that when it doesn't matter to me um, if we were in for Christmas that would be amazing but I really doubt it's gonna happen anyway so I thought, yeah, yeah, simple Christmas, simple Christmas, no tree, that's fine, or just like a little tiny tree. But then I said to George, I don't mind, we're not doing presents for one another this year because the house is our present, so we're just putting money towards that. But I said to him, it's not Christmas without a Christmas tree. I can't have Christmas without a tree. It just wouldn't be the same. And I do think that we should celebrate Christmas, our last Christmas here, um, because this house has, we've been here for nine years, so it's been a big part of our lives. Um, so I definitely think we should have a Christmas tree. Basically, I won. Um, but no, my mum actually, she, she thinks that she has a spare tree, so I think she's going to give us her spare tree that she doesn't use. So that'll be amazing. So yeah, that's the Christmas tree update. I'm going to wash my face one of my favorite cleansers of all time the oils of life cleanser oh my god i love it so much i want the whole range now i've decided i have the cleanser now i want the whole range but i'm gonna end this vlog here and say that i hope you have a wonderful wonderful rest of your sunday evening i hope you have a fantastic week and i will see you all in next week's video bye keeps us warm we can spend the night underneath the mistletoe and i've got